y'all. Welcome to Rays on the Road. Today, we're headed to exit 407 in Sevierville, Tennessee, home to the biggest buckies in the world. With 120 gas pumps, the longest car wash in the world, some of the best brisket, beef jerky, and baked goods you'll find anywhere, not to mention the beautiful and unique items you'll find here, this convenience store is truly world class. Come along as we tour the entire store and stay tuned to the end to see what Tarzan thought of the whole experience. This is Bucky's, the world's biggest gas station. Hi, Matt here. I'm Stacy, and this little guy is our buddy Tarzan. Together, we are the Rays on the Road. Hi. Alright, so the restrooms were clean and perfect as always. We have the millions of fountain drinks. Here are the Bucky's. I've never had the sarsaparilla or the root beer. I might get a root beer tonight. This is one of the only places I've seen that has squirt in the fountain. And I think these are kind of repeats. But there's plenty of options. Oh, yeah, the dream sickle. Be good. And then you have the barbecue station. And over there are the sweets and fudge. And the toasted nuts and stuff. This seems very similar to the other locations that I've been to. Just more spread out with more room for people. The jerky counter. And I will say, we've gotten fresh jerky from Bucky's before. It actually is better than the stuff in the bag. There's the bakery items. I like the sausage and cheese kolache. And the paddle tail we've had. We've had before. And I would put that as one of the top five desserts I've ever had in my life. Here's the hot coffee station. It's kind of late tonight and I have a long drive so I probably will get a hot coffee tonight. One of the cool things about Bucky's is instead of those just gross creamer stations you see at other gas stations, they have actual half and half and then usually like flavored creamers and sometimes I've seen them have like keto creamers, the super creamers, of icy stations and then kind of like all the pre-packaged drinks and the stuff on this side interesting but it's not most of it are stuff you could get at other places and then I guess they do have the Bucky's candies I've never seen these beaver twists I don't know, those like chocolate covered bugles? Never seen those before? Sours. I was hoping to find some of those uh, 
delight. So it's meringue cookies. All oh, different cashews. I think that's probably more nuts, jerkies, maybe some candies over there. And the Bucky's Nuggies. These here I think are probably my favorite. If you don't know what those are, the Nuggies are like puff corn. And then the Beaver Nuggets are like puff corn that are coated in like a sugary, sweet, crunchy exterior. Brittle. I like just the Nuggies, the puffy ones. That bold and spicy one's really good. More nuts, salsas, hot sauces. I know Matt really likes his taco reaper sauce. He might get some of that. It's very spicy though. And we've had this hot sauce before too and it's incredibly spicy, but Matt really liked it. These are the Bucky Overbites. This is kind of one of their signature things. It's just like a quarter pound of chocolate. There's different varieties. Caramels, different chocolates. Yeah, I don't see those delights anywhere tonight. I'm gonna have some salads, fresh fruit. Well, Matt and I aren't on vacation. We typically are on kind of a keto, low-carb diet. So if we were ever on vacation and eating healthy like we should, you probably could actually be, eat reasonably healthy and still stop in here. I've never done it yet, but it's theoretically possible. Cotton candy. Bucky's mugs. And hot sandwiches. They have clubs. Peach cobbler. I've never seen that before. Pulled pork. Of course, the beaver chips. These are really good. And then this is if I'm going to get hot food here, I typically get a sliced brisket sandwich. Matt likes the sliced brisket, but he also likes the chopped brisket, and they have the one that's got like extra meat. He likes it. So, I think I'm gonna get a root beer. Hi, it's me, Stacy from the future. I wanted to stop in here and ask you to please like this video, comment on this video, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. We're a new channel, so all the engagement that we can get really helps us out. We look forward to providing you guys with lots more fun, exciting, and positive content from all of our travels. That's all for now. Back to the video. So, actually, I changed my mind. I did not get a root beer. I got a hot coffee with half and half. So that should be good. Help me drive. I got like a four or five hour drive tonight. Um, let's go over here and check out the different merchandise that they have. See if they have any unique Smoky Mountain stuff. counter. I like the, I think it's caramel praline fudge. It's so good from here. There's a prepackaged jerky. Kind of summery Bucky stuff. Bucky has a Easter shirt on. 
guess they must have this truck at all the locations. Got a lot of nice Easter stuff out. It's a very Dolly esque shirt. On the floor. They have a lot of beautiful stuff here, but it's usually pretty pricey. better shot of it has crystals on it. That interesting. Maybe get a Bucky's bathing suit for the summer. Boogie boards. I don't know, I guess maybe people stop here on their way to the beach. I'm not sure. Beach towels. It's a dog toy. Tarzan might like that. There's more than just Tennessee stuff. Here we are. Easter. Oh, this is nice. Park mug and a blanket. That's really nice. I like that blanket. National Park map. It's nice. Cool tote bag too. I would carry that for sure. And then kind of toys. Baby stuff. But yeah, it's nice. Very similar to the other buckies that I've been to, just much more spread out, a lot more room for people. You can see it's busy, but you can actually walk around and move in here. Sometimes you can't do that. So, yeah. one last look. I think I'm gonna check out. Go relieve Matt. He's in the car with Tarzan. See if he wants to come in and grab a drink. Oh, can't forget this. Signature pecans are the best. Team pecan. Put in the comments if you like the almonds or the cashews. But I guess that's it. Hey, so just came out of Bucky's. Back in the car, enjoying my coffee. It's excellent. Tarzan's having a little snack here before we hit the road. We've kind of got his food bowl set up here so he can have a little snack. He had a walk. Um, I didn't get any food this time. I've had the brisket before. It's awesome. They have a chicken sandwich. It's really good too, but I didn't see it in there. I'm um, just going to have coffee tonight and hit the road. It's pretty late. I highly recommend stopping at any time you see a buck. The biggest buckies in the world. It is very big. It seems very similar to the other locations that I've been to. Like I said, just more spread out. So there's more room to rock, walk around. They have some nice Smoky Mountain National Park stuff. I really like that blanket. Um, coffee's great, as usual. Matt's inside now. He might get some food. If he gets something, we'll cut back and show you what it was and tell you how he liked it. Um, I think this one has more gas station, more gas pumps than any of the other ones I've been to. And there is the car wash, obviously, this one. I don't think the other one, any other ones have. Um, there's a lot of development coming to this exit. I'm really interested to see how it turns out. It's very, it's it's pretty far from Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, Gatlinburg. So I'm interested to see how the development goes. I think eventually, at starting at exit 407 all the way to the entrance to the National Park is going to be completely developed what I think in the next 10, 15 years is going to happen. So, it's cool to see the area continue to grow. Uh, that's all for this episode of Rays on the Road. We'll catch you soon. Tarzan, do you want to say goodbye? Tarzan is enjoying his dinner of chicken and rice. And yeah, He says he's done. He's going to go to his bed and take a nap. Bye for now.
Oh, like and subscribe, please. We're new.